Hello babes, how are you? If you're new, how welcome? My name is Michelle and today we're going with another request. You guys wanted me to do a reading on Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber, so we took a look today. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to free around, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles could be reversed in between energies and with this said, let's move forward. As I always say, celebrity tarot and or influencer readings are always for your entertainment purposes only, so please know that everything said and mentioned is, again, allegedly and everything is for entertainment. We always offer you the legal disclaimer at the beginning of every video so please read it if it's if, if some of you would like to do in english and spanish so with this said now we can move on also guys if you guys don't know i am on spotify you can follow me there i do a weekly podcast on spiritual topics in english and spanish as well as i do special readings for followers when i have the time over there i'm also on tiktok too though <clears throat> So right away we got Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, uh, the Fool. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got the Ace of Cups. Um, let's see what else we got. The Ace of Wands in the reverse and overall energy. Let's take a look. The Tower. The King of Pentacles. So um, we got Pisces. We got uh, Cancer. Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Aries, um, <clears throat> Leo, Sagittarius, Aries again, but Aries be the main focus, and of course Scorpio energies, and again Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn once again. Okie dokes. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Let me fix my wig real quick. So um, this is gonna be some sort of like situation that. She has, I, I do see good news coming for them, and also I see bad news following. Um, I do see deceit, lies, perhaps people complaining about something. I do see it could be related to like something related, business related when it comes to her. I do see this is good news coming for Justin and Haley, but I do see that it gets cloudy real quick with something negative, like something bad, something with her brand. I also see like a potential, like, I would say it's more like whispers of lawsuits against Haley for whatever reason. I do see like most likely it could be like her her line or something. But moving from that, I do see that in between them things are like not good or not bad. I do feel like they're both trying their best to love each other and be there for each other. But I do see I always said it incompatible vibes here. Um I do feel bad for her in a way because i do see that she has given everything for this relationship and i don't see allegedly him giving him giving her back the same energy now this has nothing to do with money this has everything to do with the energy energy you know i always said it before i'm not fans of anybody to be honest but allegedly here i, I do feel bad when a female loves her their man more than themselves you know and i do see that she is sacrificing and willing to do everything in her power i do see allegedly that she's getting tired of it though i do see allegedly there's going to be whispers of separation uh there's not going to be any confirmation on any ends uh not on her end not on his end but it's going to be a very strong whisper of <clears throat> And rumors of separation due to specific locations and specific uh if not tweets uh weird photos or weird instagram posts it could be allegedly too um i do see that this is more like a misunderstanding more than a fact but i do see that their relationship is troublesome it says that in between them always expect the unexpected it's like never completely fulfilled it's never completely happy it's never completely stable it's like they have patches of stability and then there's gonna be i just see like uh whispers of infidelity allegedly people are going to try to mix him with candle allegedly here but that's not going to be accurate at all allegedly of course um <clears throat> i do see misunderstandings and like whispers getting bigger into very scandalous rumors and conspiracies um but i do feel like with their relationship always expect the unexpected it's never as it seems it seems like i i do see right here that there's like a collapse in between them um then after this uh alleged uh 
rumor right that is going to be eventually proved that it's not accurate because you're gonna you're gonna see them together either or i do see like allegedly after the situation gets out of hand i see him and Haley getting out with that smoothie in their hand or maybe allegedly him buying something for her that people know it's her favorite or something i'm not sure how people know this but they they will claim that allegedly and then after that months after that if not weeks after that there's a real breakup or collapse here allegedly here into where they do separate and they could be living in two different places and they're gonna allegedly make it public this is going to start the conspiracy theories and all that people say oh my gosh finally they're going to break up oh my gosh finally he's going to go back to selena allegedly here him and selena are two <clears throat> are two different now and not only because selena has a man but allegedly here also because again um they just are too different they're not the kids they used to be so um i do see they could be friends eventually if that if that's something they want to do but partnership is going to be extremely hard in between him and selena i do know that there's people out there that are telling you otherwise babes but they're just feeding you lies because that's what you want to hear okay and if you really love selena and if you really love justin or anybody you need to stick to the truth which is their actual energy is what they really want and allegedly right now him and selena are not going to be a thing um and it's just been over for a long time regardless of Haley here As I said before, this was in the, in the horizon, right? That, like that, right? Towards energy. And this is telling me again, expect the unexpected. I do see a possible, but this could be 2025. It's going to be uh, 2024, uh, maybe beginning 2025. It's going to be super hard. This year, 2024, for Haley and Justin, allegedly it's going to be super hard for their relationship. It's going to be the hardest year they have ever had in their relationship slash marriage. Again, 2024 is going to be the hardest year for um sorry for Haley and justin bieber it's gonna allegedly be around a lot of ups and downs allegedly this year is gonna be full of like conspiracy theories because of basic information or allegedly basic uh proof into where allegedly multiple times throughout the 2024 is we're gonna hear that they're done that they broke up but then eventually we see them together and then we're gonna hear that over and over and over and you know why it's happening allegedly here because something something is happening in this relationship that is not workable there's something in this relationship allegedly that is actually causing stress negativity and and anger energies i do see allegedly here that 2025 could be the year for them to make final decisions based on their relationship i do feel like they're actually trying to survive the relationship allegedly as i said before 2024 is going to be the survival year and it's going to be happening without any hesitation uh notification they're going to allegedly throw i'm sorry guys i'm fixing my wig um throughout the whole year they're going to be like oh this is false da, 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 da. this could be their pr team and whatnot and allegedly right here boom they're gonna end up breaking up uh there is a big chance that the begin this could be the end 20 the end of 2024 beginning of 2025 into where they finalize and then they throw like drop the bomb into like yes they have not been together for this days or this months and then eventually they could be heading towards uh divorce after so many years of marriage but i do feel like 2024 once again is going to be what seals the deal and to where uh it's going to be the hardest year for them as a couple the king of pentacles on horizon here it's telling me over and over and over energy of the unexpected energy of conflict movement and change i do see as i said before this is going to be the change for this year 2024 is going to be the year for change i do see allegedly here towards the end of 2024 and i'm going to repeat it again and again and again if i want to into where 2025 is going to be the specific year that they are going to announce the real breakup and the real separation and possible real divorce but 2024 is going to be the hardest one and even in 2025 they could go back and forth into where like oh we're going to divorce but you never see nothing but i do see 2025 is going to be the year for them to uh, make a decision like do we admit that we have issues and we work on it or do we break up but i do feel like 2025 could be the ending year for allegedly their connection this could be a year of them being separated not necessarily divorced and then eventually it could 
it lead to divorce here allegedly here this is also because of differences in what in wanting kids and one not allegedly and like i said before 2024 is going to be a very very scandalous year for this relationship allegedly and please don't ask me but what i said it i said it very clearly i said what's going to happen and just leave it at that okay with the nine of ones here <laughs> the they need to to grow they need to work on problem solving they don't do that they often just get mad at each other stop talking to each other and then eventually make up and i do feel like this allegedly is what's causing the tension and because it's been so many repetitive energies of like we get mad at each other we don't talk uh Haley doesn't talk allegedly because he don't talk allegedly then they put it under the rug and then eventually days passes by and then they act like nothing is wrong but allegedly nothing has been talked and nothing has allegedly been worked on and then eventually they go back to the same cycle that's why i do feel Haley allegedly is getting tired of that this is going to be the energy that's the strongest energy here uh as you cannot you don't have to be her fan but allegedly here she has put a lot of her effort into this connection she knew where she was standing of course but allegedly as every other female who falls in love she had hoped that things were changing or that things will get better and allegedly being with justin is very draining emotionally mentally and um as much as she loves him allegedly things are getting out of hand at times this is as a partner this is nothing to do with what's best for each of them in a contract or allegedly money this is everything to do with emotional self okay we're talking about a relationship not a contract and this is that the, the energies are being picked up or that are being picked up uh, with the ninth of swords in the universe right here um i do see like uh energetically he is as somebody who could be a tyrant sometimes allegedly unpredictable that sometimes allegedly says things without thinking and allegedly acts without thinking sometimes and sometimes the way that he allegedly acts or says things are so abruptly allegedly they could be very hurtful and you know that you cannot unsaid what you said you cannot undo what you did so at this point that's why people are saying hey be very careful how you talk to people how to act how you act to people or towards people because you know it is very harmful so i do feel like he has a, an energy of like being suppressed he has suppressed so much allegedly and he has so many issues and like allegedly anger issues sometimes and other things that he has to work on because again nobody's perfect but allegedly sometimes he gets and does all this frustration towards her especially allegedly he is stressed out of being followed around and like i said before if they were were to want to fix their relationship they need to get out of la allegedly and i said it on my other readings too that this is something that allegedly has crossed his mind and it's the best time to do it if they don't get out from la by 2024 uh towards the whole 12 months um they're going to have a lot of situations happen a lot of difficulties allegedly and especially 2025 could actually be the end of a lot of things for them you know or the beginning of the end towards towards that you know so i do feel like the key for them to find peace is to yes go to a place that you could still be yourself and you will always be yourself because everybody knows who you are but allegedly la is stress fake is stressful and allegedly it's like he's followed around and he don't like that she does but he doesn't so they need to work on what's best our our images or our relationship you know allegedly um i do see that there's something also coming for Haley. uh good things okay if this is an inheritance of some sort this could be uh getting some sort of money allegedly that she could also get a deal when it comes to modeling and other things i do see allegedly she getting collaborations and deals some of these presentations allegedly in some places she may not be with justin and allegedly people are going to say hey they don't love each other he don't love her no allegedly he was doing some other things in the studio and other things because allegedly i do see more music and more projects uh that he is working on because he does love music but allegedly right here keep in mind that they're not going to be broken up right now it's going to be back and forth it's going to be difficulties a lot of whispers allegedly a lot of people are going to have articles saying like oh my gosh this is information comes from insight from this specific person it is not so allegedly here is going to be whispers that allegedly in, in the future is going to be proven that it's just fake and then we're going to go through a whole year of that if you are a very you know uh, if you keep up with that kind of news, you know. 
with the Ace of Pentacles horizon, I do see here that uh, something starts for Haley as well, you know, besides the issues that she could have right now. Allegedly, there's a new project that she has in her hands, a new product, new projects. And I do see that she's going to be the leading person. And I do see that um, it goes well, well for her. It's an original project. If it's not her creating it, she's working in that project, you know, with this collaboration. But I do see one in a sense in the career. 2024 is going to be the career for her to pick up. And, you know, not just being Hailey Bieber, this, the wife of Justin Bieber. I do see that in 2024 also. Whatever it is that she's doing, whatever it is that she's going for, uh, it gives her more like an individual identity instead of being just an attachment to Justin Bieber, you know what I'm saying? So I do see like allegedly this year, it's a year for her to get individuality when it comes to recognition and collaborations and yada, 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 you know? And no, I'm not saying she's good. No, I'm not saying she's bad. I'm not saying nothing. I don't do that. That's a childish mentality. I'm just telling you the situations, uh, how they could feel allegedly. I do say the word because it has to be because of guidelines here. And of course, uh, to give you tea. Um, but it's nothing to do with good or bad. You could be the judge and the jury if that's where you feel you are. But I am always as neutral as I can be. I always give you the readings how they are. And that's why they always happen because I don't put my two cents into it but what the card says okay and it's so sad that i have to do this in the videos but there's so many comments in you know uh people manipulate the situation trying to make me say things or or think a certain way and i always said nope i'm neutral so i always say don't put words in my mouth <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, we got the 10 of Wands for recently. Uh, we got here Sagittarius Energy. And I do see that for Haley, it's going to be a lot of like success in 2024. I also see success for Justin and his new collaborations and new things. In a sense of careers, they're both going to do great. The thing that is a little bit shaky, allegedly, is the relationship. Like I said before, they need to put an effort to it. They need to move out. Allegedly, they need to do a lot of things. Or, unfortunately, 2025 is going to be the year that most likely things are going to be so heavy that allegedly separation happens that could lead to divorce if that's something that they want to take immediately, you know? And finally, right here, um, I do see, as I said before, 2024 is going to be the year for Haley to shine in the career sense. So if you don't like her, uh, I'm sorry to give you this news, I guess. If you like her, then, you know, I know you're going to like it. But I do see this is the year for her for individuality now, as I said before, in the career sense. Okay? And like I know, you guys know I love Selena, so don't be saying that I'm not. No, I love Selena. I'm sorry. But if the car says she's going to be successful, she's going to be successful, okay? So stop acting like this is Mean Girls 5. No, 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 no. That movie doesn't exist. So uh, let's just keep it as what it is, okay? So um, if you watch Selena Gomez reading as well, she's going to be successful also in her career sense, right? So at this point, they're both going to be individually successful in two different different ways um there's no need to mix mingle or compare okay let's keep it as it is but as i said before relationship wise there's issues i told you what it needs to be worked on in career it looks more prom promising for the both of them uh, individually you know but this is what i see for them okay I just guys I just got too much honor for my readings to be told that I am taking sides when I'm not and if you accuse me of something that's not accurate I'm going to clarify and defend myself because girl what you think you is <laughs> okay dogs so finally we're gonna go with the astrological dices here we got the planet the zodiac sign and the house okay let me see so the planet represents the situation and we have the Saturn, which is the planet that we got for this reading today. Uh, this says pertaining to restriction, what holds you back going without following through on commitment, accountability and responsibility. Then we're going to go with the zodiac sign, which represents the emotional side of the reading. And we got Pisces. Now, what does it say here? Pisces says naive, seeking release, pure of heart, unaware of deceitfulness and they in daydreaming and finally we have the houses which is the area of life and we got the sixth house for them it says represents health day-to-day -day activities 
hygienic routines can also relate to pet care or co-workers so with this said guys this is the end of the reading i hope you liked it please don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you want me to read on a certain celebrity influencer or certain situation please let me know in the comment section and as soon as i can i'll take care of it as i said before i do get a lot of requests in english and spanish so i go in order you know but if you write me a request i'll definitely get to it i just need some time uh, i also want to remind you that you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on spotify you can follow me on tiktok as well as you can follow me on um facebook and i do also offer celebrity readings for personal readings or personal readings in general you can check my website always is going to be all the links for all my platforms are going to be in the description box below if not you can find it on the bio here on youtube i hope you guys liked it and have fun with it i had a lot of fun doing this reading i love you guys so much and many blessings